Does Avenue Man deserve to be slut shamed on Young and the Restless again? According to Young and the Restless spoilers, Avenue Man receives harsh criticism on CBS soap opera's 50th anniversary gala. And if this is not the first time she has had to answer off for acts, it's possible that it won't be the last. Does that mean she deserves it? Amanda Sinclair reads Avenue Man for fifth on Young and the Restless. In Vienna recently, Amanda Sinclair ran across Avenue Man when she went back to Genoa City. And obviously, given what happened with Devon Hamilton, that was quite embarrassing. You may remember from Young and the Restless that the latter was on her sofa naked the last time Amanda and Abby crossed paths because she had been having an affair with the lawyer's boyfriend. Now that she has hit her boyfriend, the naked Harris wants to make amends. But how does one behave nicely? And Amanda didn't waste time in reminding her of just how terribly she had deceived her. She informed her that she was unable to spend time with Abby and left. Naturally, this is not the first time Abby has received criticism for her dubious actions. Do you remember how she got the moniker Naked Harris? She's not exactly bashful, but getting into bed with another woman's partner is a very sly move. It's difficult to argue that Abby was deserving of every insult Amanda hurled at her on Young and the Restless. Naked Harris on YNR has a horrible past with guys. Perhaps the reason Abby Newman has so many troubles with men is that she has long-standing father issues with Victor Newman. Remember, Ashley Abbott stole his sperm, thus is typically soap opera fashion. Her beginnings were shaky. She made public displays for years, and it seemed like it was all done to get her father's attention. By entering the GCSE on horseback while nude, she earned the moniker The Naked Harris, but it was before Malaysia Ordway was recast. But she at least refrained from pulling that prank at the significant Young and the Restless 50th Anniversary Gala. She had other instances of public nudity as well. She also gave the press an invitation to watch her swim naked in the Chancellor Pool. Abby promoted the nickname Naked in Truth. She urged Jason Thompson's character Billy Abbott to write that about her in Restless style. She never has luck in love, despite all the attention. She was tutored on by Arturo Rosales, furthermore her mother Ashley and Stitches Rayburn had sex. And because of the mess she's made with the Newman family, a ton of guys have turned their backs on her. Then Young and the Restless provided her with the chance of successful conclusion. It involved Chance Chancellor. She, however, was the one who caused all the trouble by acting so inappropriately. Is there a chance things will work out with Devon given her past? Abby Newman is insulted by Nina Webster at Young and the Restless Gala. When Abby Newman bumps across her ex-mother-in-law Nina Webster at the masked ball, things on YNR quickly become unpleasant. Naturally, Nina feels upset with herself for betraying Chance and breaking the marriage on CBS serial series. Abby did her husband a disservice by having an affair with Devon. Furthermore, Chance had shown her nothing but affection despite the fact that he was suffering from the severe PTSD at the time. Without a doubt, his wife's betrayal of him made no differences. And the fact that Abby is still having affairs with Devon enraged both Nina and Amanda. When Amanda learned that it had developed into a committed relationship, she lost it because she believed it to be a simple one-night stand. It's possible that Abby has found the ideal partner right now, but it's unfortunate that she had to cause Chance misery in order for it to happen. Do you believe Abby Newman deserves the recent shaming she's received on the CBS soap opera?